Hello, boys and girls. My name is Also C, and welcome back to another episode of the No Sleep Challenge. And by the look of it, it could be the last one because challenge was we reach the end, we defeat the end dragon, and we do not sleep on the way. And this has been gone going on for. 98 days so I am a tiny bit tired uh, but hopefully we soon can give this a rest so uh, let's open the portal and then let's see uh, what we shall do um, Let's create a uh, chest so we can put aside a few things that we do not need anymore. Don't need the eyes of Ender, we don't need the blaze rods. Right, uh, we don't need the rotten flesh, uh, we don't need the egg. Then, what we will need is food, steak, um, also the, the carrots there. Um, don't need the eggs, but let's put the ender pearls on the hot bar. Um, maybe let's also put a bucket of water because uh, when we go in we land on the obsidian platform uh, that's just off the island and if we are unlucky the dragon comes right at us before we can bridge over and knocks us off into the void there ender pearls come in handy but we will try to bridge over to the main island and dug our way in and that should give us a bit of uh, of safety at least uh, to be knocked off into the void. Um, we will chuck down uh, night vision so uh, you can see better, I can see better. Um, I will probably not use the uh, carved pumpkins against the uh, Enderman uh, because once we are at the pillar, we can create a uh, too high cobblestone uh, shelter so we can flee under that, fight any uh, enderman that we might have angered. And with the bucket of water, we also can uh, drive them away. Then the biggest uh, danger in the first part while we are trying to get to the end crystals is uh, I think fall damage. If we are high up or if we are thrown uh, into the air by the dragon um, and we land uh, we could potentially die. That's another reason to have a water bucket uh, and ender pearls. So I think that's it for the battle plan. So night vision potion, um, speed potion. Yes, it should help us. Um, yeah, we can also have a strength potion. And then I think we are good to go. Oh, nice. 
we're basically on the the, uh, the island. So let's dock our way topside, and then the dangerous thing is looking at any uh, Enderman and. Here we have a gated and crystal. So one out of four, I think it's it's four that do have a cage around them. Okay. Right. So far, we have been lucky. There is another cage. Let's tower up. Take the uh, high went height advantage to knock out a few of these crystals. Need to go a bit higher. It was too much. One can be difficult. Come on! Um, this one... That's gone. I would have assumed that the dragon would attack me. Okay, so that's what happened. There is another. Ah, uh, yeah. That's. Okay. So let's switch out to uh, the stakes here. Uh, increase our overhang a bit. Like the gravel. Are you angry at me? No? You angry at the dragon? Alright, so let's try to get up here. This is one of the uh, higher pillows. Should have a good vantage point. 
On the other hand, if we fall off, um, we dearly need that uh, that bucket of water. Nice. And is this the last one? Come on. Took a bit of damage, but we survived. So let's collect the gravel. over there to go down. I think that shot got over. That was not high enough. bit of hunger so, let's pillar up here okay the dragon flying under will delete some of the blocks let's use these ones Right, then he should be okay. Yeah, so now the dragon should actually be vulnerable. And the easiest way to fight the dragon or get hit on him is when he is like this on the floor and we can hit him. It worked. Yeah, let's chuck in one of the golden apples. We did not craft them for nothing. And here you can actually see, I think, the uh, night vision potion run out. Personally, 
I think the this makes it a little easier to see for me. I am not sure how this will affect the It's about half health, and here you can see why I prefer the flame on the uh, arrow, because you can clearly see where your arrows are going. Which helps with aiming. Come on! I get a stiff hand with so many bow shots and all misses. Yeah, two hits. And this almost down. generation from the apple has run out but we are still at full health and full strength but the dragon is not definitely so only has a bit of strength left as you can see at top bar but I uh, I'm having a hard time hitting in hitting it in the air. But eventually he will come down and Yeah, that was a hard landing. And we regain all our health, almost all our health. One more hit, I think. XP. Let's collect it, even though we do not need it, because basically this is the end of this series. We will not even care about the uh, dragon egg, because the goal Ouch! I'm out of here. And here are the credits. So while these uh, are rolling, let's talk about 
uh, this episode, uh, what I learned from it, uh, because um, the goal was from the very start to defeat the Ender Dragon without sleeping. And I had a clear idea what I needed to get there, um, but on the way I figured out maybe uh, uh, I could cut some more corners, for example on my armor I went for mending on every piece, which basically is not needed because you only aim for the one uh, fight with the dragon and afterwards it's it's not really important if your uh, armor is broken or not. So mending is more a thing that's needed for uh, for long game. Uh, and another thing, I did have a bit of trouble with uh, getting in enough XP for all the enchanting. Uh, so maybe uh, doing this uh, through fishing is not the most forward uh, approach. Uh, maybe trading with villagers uh, would uh, get better results or having a mob farm. Uh, of course, if you can find a mob spawner and create a farm out of that, that would be uh, uh, quite handy. So, um, to finish off this series, uh, let's head back here at spawn where we first entered this world and let's take a look at the um, was it the statistics yeah um, because I wanted to see uh, my death statistics because I think I died I died a few times uh, but um, I only died once to each type of uh, of mobs so we have the iron golem here um, never died to a phantom which is a bit surprising um, considering that we never slept through the night so that was the biggest menace, menace there. Um, uh, I was killed twice by skeletons. Um, uh, once by a zombie. And once by a zombie fight piglin. And then I think I died twice. Um, uh, in, in lava in the nether uh, while trying to get back to the nether fortress. So all in all I think that's not too bad but uh, to finish off uh, this series maybe let's have a look out into the future what's next. So basically uh, this was uh, easy uh, play to get to the end fight and I plan to do that again but on hardcore mode which means um, we will have or I will have only one life so all the deaths that we just saw cannot help we must be more careful. And with that one life, defeat the Ender Dragon, just like we did uh, just now. Um, and then I have some further plans uh, that then once again go a bit more into the direction of, uh, of building and of course there is still my other uh, series, the uh, uh, 
uh, another day in Minecraft, uh, which got a bit neglected um, over at producing, getting this series done. But I have some really cool ideas uh, what to do there. So uh, if you have not yet subscribed and you like this kind of Minecraft content, consider subscribing. Hope you enjoyed this series, this video, this episode, and hope to see you soon with another one. See you. Goodbye.